Tatramasi. You're it. Ha! <laughs> You're everything that's going on. In other words, you are a particular place at which the whole universe is focused. So nirvana means breathe out. What a relief that was. <laughs> the sigh of relief. Let it go. Because it'll come back to you if you let it go. But if you don't let it go, you'll just suffocate. So a person in the state of nirvana is what we might call a blown out person. Like blow your mind. <laughs> Let go. Don't cling. And then you're in the state of nirvana. And I re-emphasize the point. This is not, I, I, I'm not preaching, see? I'm not saying this is what you ought to do. I'm simply pointing out a state of affairs that is so. There's no moralism in this whatsoever. It's simply pointing out like, if you put your hand into the fire, you'll get burned. You can get burned if you want to. <laughs> it's okay. But if you, it so happens that you don't want to get burned, and you don't put your hand in the fire. So in the same way, if you don't want to be in a state of anxiety all the time, and again, I emphasize, if you like to be anxious, it's perfectly all right. <laughs> If that's, see, Buddhism never hurries anyone on. They say, you've got all eternity through which to live in various forms. And therefore, you, you, you don't have just one life in which you've got to avoid eternal damnation. You can go running around the wheel and the rat race and play that game just as long as you want to, so long as you think it's fun. But if there comes a time when you don't think it's fun, you don't have to do it. So I wouldn't say to anyone who disagrees with me and who says, well, uh, I think we ought to engage the forces of evil in battle and put this world to right and so on and so forth and arrange everything in this world so that it's all up. Try it, please. Uh, it's perfectly okay. Go on doing that. <laughs> But uh, if you see that it's futile, <laughs> then uh, you can let go. Don't try to cling. Relax. And if you do that, you're in the state of nirvana. And you become a Buddha. And of course, it means that you become a rather astonishing person. And you say, who's in charge around here? Well, nobody's in charge. There never was anybody in charge.